What's up, everybody? Mean Metal Mike here. Or else you get the shovel. Barnes. Shut up, Barnes. Anyway, what's up, guys? We have a new review coming out for you today. This is the new Megadeth review. I just spun the album. I listened to the album about, about six times now, and I'm ready for my review of it. You will see me reviewing it again tomorrow night with Metal ba on the Metal Bastards podcast. Check that out every Sunday night at 11 p.m., and then sometimes every Monday night. But yes, Megadeth has a new album. It's been about six and a half, nine years since the last album came out with Dystopia. And, well, the, the band's been in kind of... Some interesting, interesting stuff has happened. Dave Elvison left for some stupid reasons. I hope he never comes back to Megadeth. Megadeth's better off without him. Um... New, new lineup, you have Dirk Viburen on drums, who did stuff for Soil Work, and some other projects, and I think he's great on drums. I think he fits this lineup. You have Kiko. You have Kiko on guitar. You have Kiko Loreo on guitar. He also does blacking vocals, flute. Um, you have Steve DeGior DeGior DeGiorio, bass, bass for the album. You have Eric Darkin, who does percussion. You have Roger Lima, who does keyboards and effects. You have Ice-T as a special guest on a track. And you have Sammy Hagar on a special guest as a track for another version of the album. Anyway, let's get to the album. The album came out this year. You know, I think we got the first single six months ago, and then slowly as the summer went along, we had three singles, which was... Uh, we'll be back. And there was a couple other. Yeah, Night Stalkers was a single. And then, yeah, Soldier On. So, those were the big three singles on the track. And they kind of came out early part of the summer. So, you know, we kind of had an early taste of Megadeth. And then the album just came out literally yesterday. Or the day before. Been listening to it a lot. So I'm probably going to ramble a bit. But anyway. This is their 16th studio album. By Megadeth. A fucking Dave Mustaine man. It's all you need. It's all you need in your life man. It's a pissed off Dave Mustaine to take a shit on your grave. <laughs> but yeah. The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. Took more than two years to materialize. And this album took more than two years over a stretch of time, and it seems like the band recorded it in their studio in Franklin, Tennessee, and it was co-produced by Chris Rakestraw, and this was, um, the label was Tradecraft slash Universal Label. The album is 55 minutes and 10 seconds in length, and yeah, it's produced by Dave Mustaine and Chris Rakestraw. And yeah, this is their 16th studio album, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. So, then, let's get with the track listing, let's get with the review. Alright, so we start off with The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. Love the intro. Killer riffs, leads. Um, fucking great, it's fast, it's pissed off. That's how Megadeth should sound. And yeah, it's just a killer track. Length is like five minutes. It's like a five or so minute song. And then track ends. We go right into the next track, Life in Hell, track number two, which has writing credits from Mustaine and Dick Verburen. The only track that Dirk wrote. Not Dick, I'm sorry. Dirk. My bad. But yeah, Life in Hell, another fast track. Just kick Kicks it straight to the point. It's heavy. It's angry. It's fucking great. Night Stalkers featuring Ice T. Just fuck, fucking great song. I like it. Um, Ice T sounds great in it. Um, fucking Dave Mustaine's guitar tone sounds great on it. Then the the fourth track number four, Dogs of Chernobyl, another great song. I think it's a little too slow, but it's okay and it's a good song. And you know, I like it. And it's a six minute, eleven minute song, so it's the second longest song on the album. Uh, Night Stalkers was 6 minutes and 30 or so seconds. So, we go into the next track, Sacrifice, which I think has a, Dirk, Dirk does a blast beat, I think, at Sacrifice. 
He does it on a couple tracks on this album. It's fucking killer. But yeah, Sacrifice, track five, and it's just another fast song. It's a four-minute song. It's fast. It's heavy. It's cool fucking killer rips and killer chugs, man. Um, some of the bass work on it's fucking great. It's just a great song, man. And then we go into possibly my least favorite song on the track. The song's great. The intro to Junkie, track six, fucking blows. I don't like the intro to Junkie. I, th I think Dave's making a joke about 80s hair metal. That's what I think he's kind of making a joke about it. That's why I think the intro is really cheesy. It doesn't roll off the tongue. Hey, Junkie! You're a Junkie. Yeah, no. Sorry, sorry, Dave. That, that, that sucks. I don't like the intro. But the song-wise, it's good. It's kind of a cheesy song. You know, yeah, it has some cheese in there. So, you know, it's a cheesy song. It's okay. I'll probably, I don't listen to it a lot. I kind of skipped over it. I listened to it a couple times. I skipped over it. Moving on. Track seven is Psychopathy. Uh, a little, little instrumental with D Dirk doing a, Dirk doing a lot of uh, drum fills around the toms on his kit. Fucking great. Like I said, they got a great drummer in Dirk. And I think he fits, the super lineup fits well, man. I love it. Um, going to track eight, which is killing time. Fuck, man. This, this, this track is fast. It almost feels like it's a leftover from countdown to extinction. A lot of this album has vibes from countdown to extinction to end game. I hear a little bit of cryptic writings. I hear a little bit of 13. I hear a little bit of rust in peace too. I hear a lot of stuff that's like reminiscent. And just fucking Killing Time, man, is a fucking great song. It's fast. It's heavy. Dave's pissed off. It's just a fucking great song. Going to track nine, another single, Soldier On. Well, I got more to say. It's a fucking great song. Great single. We go into track ten, Celepatint, or Celepatune. I don't know how to say it. Meet Meaning Celebrity. Um, Track ten. Kind of gives me some Judas Priest vibes on some of the riffs. I also hear a little bit of that early Holy Diver riff in there on some on some of some of the verses and stuff. I hear some riffs going maybe Dave's paying homage to Ronnie James Dio on track ten. I don't know, but I hear some of I hear some of um Night Stalker on there and I hear some of um Don't Talk to Strangers on that. I hear a little bit of Dio and Sabbath. And Judas Priest from Track Town and Sully Batane is fucking killer. And Dirk's blast beats in, in, in the later section of that's killer. Um, Mission to Mars, I don't care for. I think that's the weakest track on the album. It's more cheesy than junky. I think it's just a weak track, and we'll move on from that. And then and the ending track, track 12, will be back. Um, fucking killer, man. Like I said. Like I said, when I first heard it, when it came out earlier this summer for We'll Be Back, fucking blew my mind away. Well, the album version sounds even better than the video version. And holy fuck, man, Dirk's drumming is fucking fantastic. Dave, Dave, Dave Mustaine's guitar soloing is fucking great. If I, if I had to rank this album, it's probably going to be a solid 8.5 out of 10. It's not perfect. It's not a perfect Megadeth album. It's better than Dystopia. It's probably the best album since Endgame. Probably even better than Endgame. In some aspects, I'll say it's probably the best album since Cryptic Writings, in my opinion. I'll put it above Endgame. And then if you buy if you buy the if you buy the digital edition, if you get the digital edition, you get two bonus tracks, which is a police truck, which is a dead Kennedy's cover. And then you have this Planets on Fire, Burn in Hell, which is a Sammy Hagar cover, which I didn't care for. It's an okay tune, but this album does not disappoint, and this this is just fucking Megadeth, man. It just feels like a fresh breath of Megadeth, like Megadeth's back into that fucking thrash, that kind of Bay Area sound thrash, man. You got the speed, you got the blast beats, you got the fucking bass lines, you got all these fucking chugs. You got Dave soloing. Fucking great. Subscribe, like, share, hit that fucking bell. And remember to support the Metal Bastards podcast and the Metal Bastards.